Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Marianne from Marianne's Michigan Kitchen. And the last time I talked about doing a creamy chicken pasta with bacon, I started reading it. This is really detailed stuff. So we're going to do some shortcuts. Now, yesterday I already had cooked up some chicken um, for a dish we were eating yesterday. So I had two chicken breasts in the package. So what I've got here, let's turn this around so you can see better. If I've sliced up my chicken breast, one big chicken breast, I have in this container a half of a sweet onion and I'm going to be sauteing in olive oil and butter because it's going to have some flavor. So that is there. I think you can see all my ingredients. So I got my Italian seasoning. I have some Roma tomatoes or grape tomatoes. This here is my roasted tomato and pepper sauce that I made up in froze. I have two, two container, two scoops. This is what they look like, little cookie scoops. I have some extra virgin olive oil and I have some penne pasta, which I've got the water heating up. I have, oh, and I have bacon and bacon is in the oven. Now, this recipe was just too much. So I've created my own recipe. That's just the way we're gonna roll. And over here in this pan, I have olive oil and uh, butter. So probably about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil, a tablespoon of butter. And over here, I have my hot water starting up for my penne pasta. I need to get a plate. Put my tools on. Next time I go to Home Goods, I'm going to locate a plate, like a blue or green plate that I can always use here at the stove to put my tools on. Onions are cooking. So the recipe is half of an onion sauteing in olive oil and butter. Wow, your bacon is cooking. Now what's really cool is you could have bacon the day before and save it. Save some bacon back for this recipe. I got bacon cooking down there. It is just about done. Water is getting hot over here for the pasta. Onions are sauteing. I might put a little salt in with these guys, but not much. And this is my salt mill that I bought at the um, Skip's other place. European market in 2023. Why did the salt grinder that doesn't work? I have this salt grinder. It's horrible. I even have another salt grinder down here. This little guy. And it is horrible. I wanted one that was made cool, and that one was a local woodsmith makes up. Alright, now we got some salt in here. And I don't know, this is a sweet onion. It's not a or no, or is it just a I don't know anymore, it's just a regular onion, I think. Yeah, I picked this up at I was out Calabant in Southwest Michigan on Saturday. Where I got that onion and I got the chicken breast. Mm. Almost. And bacon. Mmm. Almost. Towel down, grab all the bacon grease. Turn this burner on. Scooch this guy back. Turn this flame down. It's up way too high. Let the onions saute and cook for a little bit. Oven off. And bacon out. Bacon out, bacon out. I like bacon out, but it's bacon. Oh, I got it. Bacon fresh from the oven. No more. I will let you hold this pan, though. You know, I thought it was crispy done, but... It's not done as much as I wanted it, so sit it over there on your, over here somewhere. Right, after this, okay. yeah. And I will deal with this bacon grease later. The oven is off. Bacon cooling down. Onions are cooking. Oh, I got hot water boiling over there. Time for the pasta. 10 to 12 minutes. Onions are looking good. Now we're going to put the chicken in. This chicken was pretty big yesterday, so I did not cook it all the way through, knowing I was going to cook it today. 
So I sliced it up and still had some sauce left over from yesterday. So this will get incorporated into today's meal. There we go. Cook that down. And I got this garlic paste that I had bought just to test it and see if I like it. It's okay, but you never know how many cloves you put in it. So it's the last one I got. I'll use it up and then I'm done. I'll go back to my regular cloves. I'll put these guys in. They're frozen. There we go. I put the lid on and make sure to keep that nice and low. spinach in it, you can put some kale in it, Swiss chard, something green. Um, we're not crazy about spinach, so it's not, a, it's not on our radar to eat a lot of spinach. Kale we're okay with, or Swiss chard, but I didn't buy any. So it's going to be tomatoes, and this with the peas will be in there. Oh, and then we'll do our heavy cream when everything is ready to be put together. Oh, and we'll do our tomatoes. Just a couple. Sit those over here. Because. Slice them up. And the bacon is cooked. Not as good as we like it. I thought it was getting really crispy in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hey, it's our favorite bacon. Yeah. You know, I never got any bacon when we were up there at the boys the other day. Oh. Do you not have any? Do you have any? No. Uh, when we come back, I'll come back. Back to recording. The pasta is done. I cooked it for the 12 minutes. This, this, the sauce has been done good. Oh, I gotta throw in my tomatoes. I have those. in. As you can see, I am not draining it. I am not putting cold water on it. I'm just throwing it in my pan, my skillet. I think my skillet's going to be too small. Take my scissors, cut up my bacon, four slices. And I'm doing it this way because I've already used my cutting boards. And I don't want to get another one dirty. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there's that. Now 
for heavy whipping cream. Now I'm not going to put very much in. Maybe half a cup. But it ain't working. Sometimes you just have to go bigger. Because skillet is just not big enough. Oh, now this is good. There we go. Be able to stir it around. And I'm going to take some of this pasta water, have one ladle for right now. Oh, yeah, that looks so good. any cheese on top of it because it has the cream. So let's get you guys in here. That looks good. And I thought we were going to eat on a plate today, but I think we're going to eat in a bowl. I'm going to turn that off for right now. I don't think we're ready to eat, so I'll just steam for a bit. But when we are, I'll show you everything that we're going to do. Okay, here is the pasta. Let's see what we've got. How about just one piece? It's hot. Mmm. I remembered to put my Italian seasoning in, about a tablespoon at the very end. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is good. I'll write the recipe up. Try it. It's delicious.